welcome back. I'd like to uh, invite you to um, Andy, please. I'd like you to uh, welcome Andy Beale onto the couch now, our final guest for the morning. Good morning, Andy Beale. Thank you. You may know Andy from uh, such radio shows as Andy and Ash's Drive Jive at the uh, summer party. Uh, did you enjoy making that, Andy? Well, I did, Ash. It's, uh, it was, uh, it was a, a fun time in my life. It was a great experience. Um, and I feel a bit sad to be left behind, actually. So you've moved on to greater, bigger and better things. Well, you've got a face for radio, haven't you, really, Andy? And, um, um, and a voice for radio, and it's really good. It's really... So, um, um, so you're doing the voiceovers now, are you, uh, for uh, Tesco.com? Yeah, I see it as a bit of a demotion. I was, I was kind of kicking around for kind of a nice morning breakfast show type slot, and uh, it just didn't happen. Um, so what can I say? Thanks, producer Nick. You're doing, you're Thanks, the, Ash. He's the continuity announcer. But you are the continuity announcer. You, you've not been sacked. You've just been moved across to another Thank job. God. Anyway, um, so uh, Andy and I work together on uh, non-food development projects, and... Um, uh, Andy has a very interesting meeting style. He likes to start some meetings by singing a theme tune. Is that right, Andy? No. <laughs> now, come on. Oh, this is not true. This is this is that you do like to start some meetings by singing a theme tune, don't you? Well, there was that certain there was that silly meeting that you did, yeah, wasn't there? None of our meetings are silly, Andy. I'd like you to remember this is a serious interview. <laughs> um, Andy, silly, uh, Andy made up a theme tune to one of our meetings called uh, "Keeping Trade Hot During the Change Freeze." And um, would you like to give us a rendition? We'll sing it together of how the how the theme tune went. That we used to start and end all the meetings. Are we going to do the arm actions as well? Um, I'm not doing the arm actions. Oh, okay, we'll do the arm actions. Okay. All right. Okay. So uh, uh, one, two, three. Keeping trade hot, hot, hot. Keeping trade hot, hot, hot. Keeping trade hot, hot, hot. You are both very hot, right? <laughs> 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 those, those were the fun days. We're too busy to sing, sing, sing theme tunes at the beginning of meetings now. Um, Can I just I'd, say the most embarrassing thing I've ever done in a meeting? Uh, this is like a chat show, isn't it? It's <laughs> it is um, a chat like, show. It's like being on parking. Well, it is like, it is. <laughs> um, the most embarrassing thing I ever did in a meeting was the other week when uh, um, Richard uh, Davis, oh, God bless his soul, um, <laughs> He, uh, he was in uh, one of our Tom Checkpoints, wasn't he? And oh, I, yes. I came in and it was, it was a bit of a, a balancing problem that I had because I had my kind of laptop in one hand as you can sometimes walk around the office holding it in my right hand. And I had my, um, my book in the other hand and some crispy donuts that I think actually Nick had brought in. And uh, I'd also got kind of balanced in my fingers a cup of coffee. So as I came in, it was all sort of slipping out of control. And uh, Richard was sitting there in the meeting already. And I thought it would dumped everything down. Unfortunately, the coffee got dumped as well. And it went all over Richard's lap, didn't it? Richard wasn't happy. He stood up and swore um, and um, ran out of the meeting saying, I've got to change my trousers now. But he was really burning. I think that was the problem, wasn't it? It was. It was very hot for him as well. Burning. So have you had any other burning moments at Tesco.com? There's been lots um, over the years, yeah. Um, I, can't think of, <laughs> I can't think of any right now, but um, I suppose, the, um, I suppose the, the hottest thing that ever happened was when we had to go to uh, California for the, um, when we were putting Safeway.com together in uh, the in-store side of that. And um, we, took, um, we took a couple of weekends out on the beach in LA and uh, that was fun. The sun was hot. No, it sounds like someone's going to the toilet. It's <laughs> a so lovely studio you've got here. Thank you very much, Andy. I'm very proud of it. Um, last we're time we a uh, budget studio here. Yeah, absolutely. Last time we were on air together, um, we uh, we did an exit interview for Patrick Cooney, um, and unfortunately, someone we couldn't interview today was Richard Davis. He's um, he's relocated to New Zealand. Um, Say rich. Bye bye, rich. Um, and. Uh, just wondered uh, if you had any insight. Obviously, Patrick uh, went off to breed crocodiles um, in uh, Seattle. Did he go to Seattle? Mm. And, um, and I just wondered if we had any insight into why Richard was moving to New Zealand. Um, it's something to do with hobbits. Right. But I, I, I'm not sure what exactly. I, right. I know he's got a, a little cave out there. All right, okay. Himself. And um, he's, uh, he's not taking it. He's sold all his belongings. Um, I'm getting his hedge cutter. Uh, so thanks for that, Rich. It's useful. I asked him for his pencil sharp, but he wouldn't um, let me have it. He's got. He's taking his ring collection with him as well. His one. And uh, um, I understand rings are in oh, great right. demand in New Zealand. All right. Like certain. I see. Creatures. Right. Okay. And uh, how do you think he'll handle it without his surround sound system and and uh, all the technology that he's set up over the last few years? He's a real techno bot. Frankly, I think he'll stay in bed all day. <laughs> really? Yeah. 
So the rumours are going to breed sheep are a lie. Uh, I can't mention anything to do with sheep, actually. It's <laughs> in my contract. Oh, right. OK. Um, it's all the hairy feet. <laughs> Nice. Do you have um, a uh, favourite song that you'd like to talk about, or a favourite band, or anything? You, know, you love your music, Andy, and we liked your radio show last year. You did uh, another radio show, so uh, just give you the opportunity to just um, tell everyone about your musical taste. I think my favourite, I mean, it's maybe not my favourite, but the first band I was ever into was in the 80s, a Spando Ballet. And, uh, Gold! And, uh, I've recently been kind of, sort of, you know, listening to some of their stuff again. Um, they've, they've been doing quite a few kind of reissues and putting everything uh, in, into digital for the first time, mm -hmm. which has been it's been a great experience for me revisiting my youth. I used to have a great time in Birmingham in those days, but um, it's very sad as well that um, that they've unfortunately since the uh, the court case that they had in the 90s, um, they've uh, they've vowed never to get back together. And when you look at kind of the, the success of other bands like Duran Duran, <laughs> and uh, that was brilliant, <laughs> very good. And when you look at the success of other bands like um, Duran Duran, etc., making an 80s comeback, it, it is kind of sad. To, to think that that will never happen, we'll never see Tony on stage with Gary and Martin, Steve and John ever again, and that guy that played the keyboards, um, Tony, I think he's Tony as well. But yeah, so it's um, making me feel very sad actually. I, yeah. I, I had such a good time last night at the party, and now I feel just being depressed that Spandau Ballet won't reform. Really, it is. I think my favourite song is "Through the Barricades," and oh, uh, okay. you know, in 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 the past, and you know, before I was married, I used to bring girlfriends home with me and uh, used to s slot the CD and put the, through the barricades on. Slot the CD in? Slot the CD Come on. Had <laughs> <laughs> an arm around my shoulder, you know, so we'd like a glass of wine and uh, 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 sort of smooch uh, out uh, to uh, so, Those days are now sadly over. Oh right, okay. Sadly over. And unfortunately, our morning is sadly over. Well, probably fortunately for you guys. But um, thank you for joining us here this morning. Andy, thanks for coming along. Thank you. It's lovely to be here. Ash, got anything else you want to say before we wind up? Have a gentle morning at work, and I'll see you in the office. See you guys. Have a good time. Bye-bye.